the airport. It's about seven in the morning. I woke up at five to be here. My flight leaves at nine. Um, I'm actually meeting up with a girl named Nicole who I met on Kakao Talk, which is Korea's really big messaging app. And we realized we had the same flight together and we're both part of the Epic program. So we're actually gonna be seated next to each other and hanging out and getting to know each other. And I think it'll be nice to make a friend before orientation starts. First day in Seoul. <laughs> I'm with uh, Noemi. <laughs> Yay! Hi. She didn't want to be my vlog, but now she is. Yay! Yeah. Hey, <laughs> bye! <laughs> Today's Sunday. I arrived to Korea on Friday afternoon. So it's been about two days since I've gotten here and a lot has happened. So I'm going to share both the good and the bad. I'm in my Airbnb right now. So let me show you what it looks like first. So it's kind of like a loft style. So there's bed. Down there, there's a couch. And we have a really nice view as well, which I'll insert a picture of the view once I'm ready. I've also been feeling pretty homesick. I miss my boyfriend back home a lot. So actually yesterday when I was eating with Nicole and Noemi, I was like eating my noodles and it was the first time we had sat down in a long time to just relax. Like we were so go, go, go since we landed. And as I was eating my noodles, I just like started sobbing into my bowl of noodles. And it was really sad. And it was kind of awkward because I just met Noemi and Nicole like a day or two ago. And I'm already like crying in public with them. So. Our orientation starts tomorrow. We get picked up from the airport. Um, I'm going to be there around 8 a.m. to get picked up. And then we have about a four hour bus shuttle ride to the university that we're staying at. Um, and I still, I don't know how I'm going to take my three giant bags back to the airport to get picked up. We'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. Airport fit check. We're waiting to be picked up by our shuttles. See how it goes. There's like the fattest line outside right now. 
기억이야 나 두겐 없어져 그래도 남아 있을걸 너가 말들 난 아니질래 Pretend I'm fine alone but then that would just make me feel Like I don't know So disappointing. This is our room. When you walk in, the bathroom's here. And it's a wet room, like most Korean places. And I am have one roommate. And yeah, the room's a lot cuter than I thought it would be. We have AC, so that's nice. And this is the view from outside. Not too shabby. person including myself stresses so hard about this medical test and it was seriously the fastest and easiest thing I've ever had to do so if you are applying to epic I and you're worried about the medical test don't it's really chill um, there's really nothing to worry about and it's really really fast so this is what my experience was like so they have just walk into this building and in the building there is different stations set up at the first station they checked your height and your weight and then at the second station, they checked your vision. At the third station, they checked your hearing. At the fourth station, they checked to see if you have color blindness. Um, at the fifth station, they took two vials of blood. So really not that much at all, and it was really fast. And then they had you sit for about five minutes to wait and make sure nothing bad happens or to make sure you don't pass out, which you won't because it really takes such a small amount of blood. And then they have us walk upstairs to do our pee test. So they give you a cup, um, you go to the bathroom, <laughs> you pee in it, and then you give it the cup to them. Okay. And then after that, they have us go um, do our chest x-ray. So for the chest x-ray, they actually had a changing room for um, girls, and they had us take all our upper clothing off. So we had to take shirts and bra off. And this includes a sports bra, this includes anything. They wanted us to completely undress and put on these robes. Like, and then you do the chest x-ray, takes about five seconds. <laughs> and I would say this whole process probably took me about 15 minutes at most. It was really quick, really easy, really stress-free. Um, everyone who's there is just trying to get you in and out. They're of an update about how orientation is going. It's Wednesday, so it's day three of orientation. We go to our first class around 9 a.m. and it was our lesson planning one lecture. So during this lecture, the lecturer went over how to create a PPP lesson plan. So a presentation practice production lesson plan, which is the structure of most ESL classes in Korea. So it was really helpful actually and the lecture was really informative, really nice. And then after that, 
we had to go straight to a second lecture. And in that lecture, it was how to make your English more comprehensible. So how to make it so people who don't speak English as their first language can understand you. And that was also full of really great information. So, so far I've been really enjoying the lectures. I think they are really wonderful. They really help prepare you and they're really informative. Um, I've been talking to some people who think it's kind of a pain to sit through them. They are really long. They're about an hour and a half each and they make us go back to back. Like today we have four lectures and I've only done the two. So I have two more to go, which I will update you about. But I don't know, I really like them. The lectures are sweet. All the workers here are so kind. It just makes me feel really grateful to be a part of this program. I think if you're thinking about applying, just do it because so far I've been having a really amazing experience. So I think that's all for now and I'll update you when I have more information. Yeah, say your name and where your place. Okay. And um, where you're from. I'm Yosam. I'm from New York and I'll be in Commonwealth. Oh, okay. I'm Allison. I'm from Kentucky in the U.S. and I'll also be in Commonwealth. I'm V. I'm from Nebraska and I'm going to Daisy. I'm Jessica. I'm from Florida. I'm <laughs> Wait, why is Edgel? Why is she so cute? All of a sudden. I'm Ophni. I'm from UK. I'm going to um, Jonam. So I'm gonna try my best to explain things. Um, I'm gonna try my best to explain everything, but please forgive me if I seem a little low energy. So on Thursday we had three different lectures. Our first lecture was on cooperative learning, so how to make the classroom a space where people can work in groups um, to be able to learn with one another. And then our second lesson was lesson planning number two, and this is just to help us prepare for our lesson demo, which was today. And then our very last lesson was a lesson observation. So two teachers, one 
um, American and another Korean came in and did a, they taught a lesson in front of us so that we can take notes and observe how things are done here in Korea. Um, they were teaching, they t teach middle school, so the lesson was oriented towards middle school students. It was really cool to see how they worked together and to be able to see a real lesson before we went and did our own, and it was really helpful. So I actually enjoyed that, and the teachers were really funny. Um, after that lesson observation, we had about an hour and a half to meet with our partners and begin preparing and creating our lesson plan that we were going to demo in front of about 15 people. And then after that, we actually had a one day class. So they had a bunch of different options for us to sign up for that we could do to have this kind of cultural class. So I signed up for a cooking class. The ladies at the cooking class were super nice. They like gave everyone a hug afterwards. They were just like the sweetest women ever. And then yesterday, Friday, we had our field trip. So they took us out to have a cultural experience and they took us to Jeonju Hanok village and they provided us lunch and we got to see people wearing the Han books and we got to walk around and just explore the area. It was a really cute, quaint um, area. And, and then today was the day that everyone was so nervous for, uh, lesson demo day. Um, so they kind of split us into mini groups of about 15 people in each classroom and we all had one teacher who was taking notes and giving us feedback. Uh, I was, me and my partner were the second people to present our lesson and I really feel like we did such a great job. I was worried about, I have like some stage fright so I was worried that I would feel nervous while presenting but I felt really confident. Um, yeah, I didn't feel nervous at all. Our lesson went really well. I was very proud of um, my work and how it showed up and how everything just went really smoothly. Um, so now we have two more lectures for the day. They're working us so hard here. We're, we have on, we're like such a jam-packed schedule. So for the next two lessons, we have Korean history and culture and then a co-teaching um, and a co-teaching lecture to help us um, know how to work with our co-teacher. That's it for now. So I'll see you guys later. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It is such an honor to be standing in front of you today as your class representative. I would first like to congratulate you on making it this far. It has been a long journey. From watching all of the YouTube videos about Epic, to panicking and running all over the country trying to get your required paperwork, to instantly freezing up whenever your coordinator asks you to teach a three minute lesson on the spot, to furiously looking up anything you could find about your unknown destination in Korea, to dodging as many questions from friends and family when asked for more details because you simply don't know. <laughs> to showing up tired, jet lagged, and having to be ready to go. You made it through all of that, and now you are here. Oh, 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 